Ryan, good afternoon, man. Jeff in Las Vegas. How are you, man? I love your background. Thank you. It's been a minute since we've talked last. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. And what a great moment to speak to you again for Causeway. What an emotional journey. Uh, it's one of your best performances, man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You know, a story dealing with grief and trauma. Reading this for the first time as an actor, could you not help yourself but becoming James and experience his journey? Yeah, I had to be very careful with James because, you know, I didn't want to compare my grief with his. I didn't want to get lost in what each other's pain and exploration of trauma was. I wanted to make sure that I was honest to what he needed and honest to where he was coming from. And with that, that means that I had to lay down a lot of my own things before approaching him. What I realized about the text of James is that there wasn't much to him at first, I mean, meaning there wasn't much that he had to say or share, uh, which let me know that there was a certain part of a process of grief that he had gone through that he had pretty much closed himself off to. Uh, what I wanted the most, though, was to show the other sides of James, that being the lighthearted sides, uh, the guy that you share a burger with, the man that actually is brave enough to finally jump into a pool again. I wanted those things to be revealed um, more uh, as we were going along. And thanks to the collaboration with Jennifer and Lila, we got to this place where we actually got to see um, these parts of James that weren't so burdened down, that weren't so hidden anymore. Um, so yeah, it was difficult because he, you know, we meet him in the movie where for the most part, he's pretty much an ordinary guy, an ordinary mechanic just working at this place. Um, and he meets this woman that he actually can see a certain part of him reflected in. Um, you, he can see that she needs a bit of assistance. He can see that she's working through her own things, which in essence lets him drop his guard down a lot. I don't think there were many people who ever asked James about how he felt um, after suffering this major tragedy that he went through. I don't think he had a lot of people around him to check and make sure he was okay. So I, I, I wanted to make sure that that came through. The thing is also, Brian, that James is constantly reminded of his pain, of his trauma, of his loss. He can never escape it. He's even aware of it because, I, you know, not to give any spoilers away, but once you learn everything, his backstory, you see where he repairs cars, his drinking, all these little things that contributed to his pain are still hovering around him. Yeah. Well, that kind of happens sometimes with grief, right? It's no different than people who have lost a child or a partner and they kind of keep their room the same way or they hold on to these tokens uh, the same way because they become time capsules of their grief in a way. Um, and that's just a coping mechanism. It's just a way that people get through because if we honestly confronted it sometimes, the fear of being on the other side or what it would do to us is so debilitating that we don't even know uh, who we would become. And grief is like that. It changes us all. We are never going to be the same people we were uh, before the grief. And, and some of us think that's a bad thing, but for some of us, it's actually the best thing that could happen to us. So I think that we see that happen with Lindsay and James in this film. And first time director at the helm for Causeway. Yeah, she comes from theater though. And Causeway feels like a stage performance, the intimacy sometimes that we have with the audience and the actors. I agree. Lila and I go all the way back to our time at Yale. Uh, we both uh, went to New York and broke out in theater in the biggest way. As a matter of fact, I always wanted to do a play with Lila, several plays with Lila and our schedules just always had us crossing in the night. So when she called me to do her first feature, I immediately said yes, because there's something about um, the way that she directs. She's what I call an actor's director, meaning that she really comes from that place of theater, which is also is a place of true collaboration. It's, all, it's a way of navigating the text in a way that is sometimes often hard to do in film, and she translated it perfectly into, into her first film. Um, it's, it's amazing, and this script also kind of reads like a play. Uh, in a way, there it was really about the dialogue and the connection between characters um, rather than what the background was or what the shot was, what the exposition was. It really was about really getting in there to the meat and potatoes of connection. But was it better to perform raw or much discussion, those scenes with Jennifer Lawrence? Because as actors, you don't want to overplay those scenes because I think those first takes, you know, are where the emotion comes from. You have to leave yourself open, I think. Um, a lot of these scenes were really 
truly about the discovery um, of things with each other. It, it, it felt like the connection of Lindsay and James reminded us so much of that kind of teenage friendships that happened, you know, the lightheartedness, uh, the jovialness, going to get a snowball, helping somebody put something in the back of a truck, sharing a burger, walking down the street, you know, just in the middle of the night. There was this kind of youthfulness that came out of um, this kind of collaboration that Jen and I and Lila discovered. And that was mostly because of the friendship that was happening between Jennifer and I. Uh, we were developing as friends that way. Uh, you know, we were having these conversations and having these talks and just realizing, oh my God, in essence, that is exactly what James and Lindsay need. This is who James and Lindsay are. Uh, because when you see them separately, they don't really have those things. And then when you bring them together, you start to see this blossom in them. Well, Brian, congratulations. Always a pleasure speaking to you. One of my favorite performances of yours. It's uh, Let's do it again soon. Thank you so much. Of course, man. Take care. Thank you.